Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are all good this week. Um, this reading is for the 24th to the 30th of May. It is a general reading, so please only take what messages resonate with you, leave what don't. Um, if it does resonate with you, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. I love connecting with you guys in the comments. And if you want to see more, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, your monthly reading is uh, linked in the description, although you know we're coming to the end of the month. Um, and also just to let you know, I have a special offer on mediumship readings this week. If that's something that interests you, um, just there's a link in the description um, to Linktree. Go and check out my Instagram profile, guys, for more details on that. There isn't, there is a post over on Instagram which will give you all the information regarding that. Okay, so Aries, the 24th to the 30th. What is in store for your love life for the 24th to the 30th? Aries, 24th to 30th. What's going to be going on with your love life? Okay, recent past energy, present energy, energy that is guiding you, something that you need to know, near future energy, feminine energy, and masculine energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the star. This is beautiful. Pop that there, guys. Okay. Let's see what is going on, Aries. So recent past, we have the Ten of Cups. So this is beautiful. So there is a lot of joy, a lot of happiness and security here. I'm getting here, there was a job well done. You've, you've completed a job well done, okay? Um, this could be in regards to, it doesn't just have to be romantic love, I'm feeling. Um, this could be involving your children. There's some sort of achievement here or accomplishment. There's a job that has been successfully achieved um, and it's to do with emotional stabilization, you know, being very stable and abundant emotionally. Um, if this was a time of healing, then what needed to be healed has been successfully healed. Um, if this is some type of karma thing, this is victory. If this is to do with your inner child, this is like major, major success with that. There's a, there's been a great foundation that has been laid in the past. A, 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 success success within an emotional cycle and there's a lot of stability here so that this is kind of telling me that something new is coming in with that star there as well um I'm, i am getting yeah you have done some major major healing i'm getting here that there's something that you're going to be starting up some type of venture or something is going to be starting up there's something that is destined for you there could be a meeting with somebody that is a destined meeting okay um I'm getting for some of you guys though as well, I know this is a love reading, there could be something that you're going to start, um, could be a business or something like that, but it's, you're going to be very successful with it and because you have, you have reached this kind of emotional level, this maturity, this emotional maturity here to be able to now take on something else. Um, but let's see here what's going on with the present. So presently, we have 10 of rods. So, wow, this is major, two tens, two tens in a row. With this 10 of rods, you are letting go. You're letting go of burdens you've been carrying. Again, I'm getting things to do with career, responsibilities, different things like that. I feel like a lot of you are actually gonna be kind of starting up some type of entrepreneurial um ventures and they're going to be very successful 
Um, I'm feeling like things are great in the home here. Everything is kind of good. There's there's kind of like this sorting out time at the moment. There is this sorting out time. If you're single, then I feel like this Ten of Cups talk about talks about things in regards to family or um, children. If you haven't got children, this is to do with the inner child. But here, you're you're kind of like offloading a load of burdens and what i get with this all the time is this is like um these burdens that we carry these responsibilities these these it's like ways of operating for me the ten of rods is like the way that we do things the way that we've been operating due to judgments that we have okay due to certain judgments now because of this healing that's gone on certain judgments aren't standing anymore for you i feel it's like um, certain judgments that you had before that created uh, you to do certain things, to take on certain responsibilities, to live your life in a specific way or operate in a specific way. It's like that's kind of going. It's like that is changing because there has been this abundance of emotion. So now uh, your belief system's kind of changing. You're freeing yourself up majorly. You're creating a lot of space for yourself. You really are getting ready for something big here. Really big. I'm definitely feeling career is going to be amazing for you guys. Any sort of ventures that you're going to get into. Um, now, I feel like with this Ten of Rods, it, I am getting things to do with work and stuff. You're going to be making your life easier here. But the transition of that might be kind of, it might be challenging. There might even be like a little bit of back and forth, but you are releasing certain judgments, certain belief systems. Um, things might be changing in the home as well, or things might be changing within your relationship or your connection. I feel like you're changing, you're changing, you're becoming freer, you, that's how I can best explain it, is you're literally becoming, um, you're freeing yourself here, the energy that is guiding you, remember I was saying like I think it's going to be a bit back and forth, yeah I do, I think it's going to be a little bit back and forth while you work your way through this, while you're shifting and changing, um, there is going to be a little bit of stopping and starting, moving forwards, going backwards a little bit, while you find your feet here, while you're while you transition from one way of being, one way of operating, one way of living life and doing things, to a new way, you know this is it's going to be back and forth a little bit. Um, but I feel like yeah, you're going to get there. And honestly, what I'm feeling coming in for you, you're going to find so much empowerment within yourself. So much empowerment. What I'm getting here with this reading is it's all about you. It is literally all about you. This reading is all about you. Things are great here. Some of you, this is going to talk about a relationship you're in. Others, this is going to talk about family situation or a situation with kids or something where you've been focused on healing your inner child. And that's been done real good. Now you're at the beginning again, sorting out your inspiration because you're getting some new inspiration come into your life, which your inspiration is then what you're going to be thinking about and focusing on and making plans upon and then you're going to start feeling that and then you're going to take action upon that and create that in 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 your world in your being so i definitely feel you're going to be operating in a new way something you need to know we've got the two of rods wow it's literally all about the rods at the minute isn't it so you need to make a decision there's something about your future again I think with that seven of rods, there's going to be a bit of back and forth. You might get confused as well. You might feel a bit confused at some point. Just allow this to happen. Allow this. It's just going to take its time. Um, you will you will get there. Everything is going to be great for you. Um, this is a decision about your future, where you're going. Where are you going to go next? What are you going to do next? This whole reading is just about you. Just be patient with this. Just understand that, you know, it is a big change that you're going to be going through. You're changing your whole kind of being here. Um, 
but I'm loving this energy and I'm loving this kind of it's like it's so funny it's like a crossover and what you're going to cross o over into is I'm just feeling success I'm feeling a lot of wealth I'm feeling a lot of victory it's, I know this is a love reading but it's like self-love here and empowerment there's a lot of empowerment here and I do feel that you're going to be meeting some destined people you're going to meet some people that are destined to come into your life and yeah that might not be romantic love but it could be friendships it could be you know important important people that are going to help you and I feel like this here we go this king of swords I'm feeling like this could be somebody that you meet okay this could be it could be an air sign it could be any sign this person is a business person I feel or they can help you with something that you're wanting to do they're very logical as well they're very clear they can help you so I feel you may become friends but it may develop more so when you've kind of gone through this process okay and um you have got some new inspiration I feel like this kind of meeting with this person is setting you up to be able to put your inspiration into plans of action okay I'm feeling like you're going to be meeting somebody that's going to help you with business or they're gonna help you understand something or do something that's going to help you with with your next venture I'm getting more so here this person is going to be like a really good friend a bit like a mentor a bit like an ally I'm not feeling that this is going to be a romantic connection I'm feeling more so that this is going to be a, an amazing friendship like there's going to be an amazing friendship here so yeah it still is love isn't it but it's not romantic love but this is somebody that's going to be able that's going to help you and you're going to be able to learn from this person they're like a human sort of guide here for you the feminine energy right now is the hierophant feminine energy is very committed very committed to the masculine energy very committed to um i'm getting here do, kind of like doing things by the book okay but that's presently and we've got the ten of wands presently and i feel like as it as as these wands get released this feminine energy is going to change but right now yeah it's like it's um i feel like the feminine energy is very committed to the masculine energy and looks to the masculine energy for guidance so this shift that you're going through i feel like you're going to shift more into um your feminine energy finding some type of a bit of like leadership but it's like inspired it's through like inspiration masculine energy is the ace of pentacles yeah the masculine energy is is wanting a new beginning and with these pentacles i am just getting here a lot of stuff to do with career and opportunities ventures and material kind of gain and wealth here um the masculine energy wants a new beginning in the physical what i'm getting here with the feminine at the minute the feminine is very committed to the masculine it's like the feminine is looking to the masculine to to kind of like be the leader let me take a look here yeah the feminine has the feminine energy hasn't stepped into her full power yet it's a bit of role there's like this kind of a little bit of Oh, no, it's not like codependency, but it's like she hasn't found her power yet. But I feel this next stage, she's going to find her power. Okay, this next stage of the game. Masculine's got Ace of Pentacles. 
we've got justice, three of cups, yeah, and I feel this, the masculine energy is excited to connect with this king of swords, masculine energy wants to get out there in the world, um, this king of swords in the near future, we have the page of pentacles, yeah, this person's coming forward to help, um, to help to help you move forwards to to some some abundance here to some more sort of physical material reward what decision have you got to make i'm getting with this it's more about um internal conflicts or internal competitions it's about finding peace and i think you don't need to worry about that. Seven of seven of Wands is going to help you. As I say, it's going to be a little bit back and forth. Um, there's some there's some shifts going on here. I feel like it's new inspiration that's coming through. We've got the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Swords as well. So it's going to give your feminine energy a lot more kind of. I feel clarity. Does the feminine energy need to know? The feminine just needs to connect emotionally at the moment, not try to figure things out logically. Connect more with the femininity. Feminine, the feminine energy is needs to connect more, I feel. Um, she needs to connect more with nature, with source, with her emotions. This feminine energy looks to the masculine energy to guide her. And it's very logical and it's very structured and it's very kind of traditional. And that's why I think there's this change going on now with the feminine energy. So yeah, there's a lot of back and forth going on. But I mean, this is great. I am feeling really good things for you. I'm feeling really positive things to do with career um, opportunities that are coming in for um, for creating new ventures, entrepreneurial ventures, an ally coming in, a great friend. This is wonderful. Honestly, I feel really excited for you, but I do feel this is about self-love at the moment. Um, even if you have somebody and I feel like everything like that is all good, but there's going to be something about empowerment here. And I think it's to support the feminine energy to find some type of power. Um, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope that was helpful. And I feel very excited for you. I do feel really excited. This bit isn't so fun, you know, what you're going through the, the transition. But I feel excited for what's to come. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much.